Okay, good morning, dear colleagues. Thank you very much, the organizers of the forum, for the opportunity to uh, represent here my research. And uh, what about the results of our work? It is dedicated to different um, cell technologies in the cytological diagnostics and prognostic factors in the widespread stomach cancer. Uh, stomach cancer is uh, currently among the leading positions in uh, the morbidity and incidence and death rates in Russia and around the world in the structure of diagnostic standards. Morphology uh, is of specific interest because that is a defining factor and defining part of uh, the chain. It helps us to uh, define the um, degree and uh, the status of uh, the tumor and ISCC and IHC are highly sensitive research and also highly um, specific and uh, they are not very expensive. The number of researchers, domestic ones and foreign ones, um, they emphasize the comparative, uh, comparable results in the sensitivity and specificity and um, as for cytological method, it is uh, um, one of uh, the most well-developed method and it helps us to um, determine the uh, level, the degree of uh, the tumor, though we receive a small number of cells and cytology wins in such a situation. The most important thing is that we are not enemies and we are pursuing the common goal. And of course, we should uh, use uh, ICC and IHC together, and it um, also improves the efficiency. We had the comparative analysis uh, in um, 324 cases, and uh, now they were quite compatible compatible and there were some deviations but uh, it was due to uh, the lack of uh, the necessary number of cells and the material was not of quite quality and the sensitivity of diagnostics amounted to 94 percent for stomach cancer that is according to the primary material we had when we compared ICC and IHC uh, the figures were compatible the coincidence was 90% and the reasons of deviations were the same, so inadequate um, histological materials. And if we talk about prognostic factors in stomach cancer, one of uh, the most well researched, uh, this is P53, and that is used as a means for uh, forecasting and prognosing. Uh, it is uh, identified in 40% uh, of uh, uh, cases and the expression of P53 uh, is linked to the negative prognosis and um, the, it is also due to uh, the sensitivity of the tumor to uh, radiotherapy and also uh, KI67 that is another one and uh, it is uh, um, there are different viewpoints about the significance of it uh, in some factors, uh, um, it is um, uh, considered as a very important ones, but uh, the age, the gender, uh, the status, and the stage of uh, uh, cancer um, uh, can be uh, the defining factors, and uh, it can be linked to a high expression of uh, KI 67, and another one, HER2, that is one of uh, the most most well-known and well-researched receptors. We have um, some positive uh, results about the fact that uh, um, those who, those patients who have a HER, about uh, 
um, 6 to 34 percent of uh, the patients uh, can be diagnosed and then can be prescribed the medicine and then they can survive. So we research different uh, markers with different cell technologies. Uh, we have uh, researched uh, microslides from 33 patients with um, stomach cancer and the microslides were developed by traditional methods with prints and also uh, with uh, liquid uh, cytology, with a uh, cytospin. We evaluated um, different types of leverages from abdominal uh, cavity and um, we had uh, the uh, significant uh, sufficient um, volume of um, residue and then we used the automated uh, system to assess it that is how we have reflected the ratio between informative and non-informative material that we have uh, used uh, by means of uh, liquid cytology, unfortunately, uh, to assess uh, how appropriate and how usable the material is. We, you, uh, we should have dozens of uh, cells and one third of the research uh, was considered as an inappropriate for the continuation of uh, the research and uh, the main reasons for that were a lack of informative uh, material and informative cells and also would like to mention that for a cytologist when he performs the evaluation morphological evaluation uh, so the work is impeded by a large number of mucus and uh, also the necrosis and the inflammation, uh, all of it hinders the work. So uh, we've uh, introduced um, sort of uh, borderline um, uh, numbers and uh, it helped us to conduct the chemical uh, research. That is an example of how microslides were, uh, look like, like P53 uh, with a high uh, expression. And uh, uh, we see different types of uh, reactions. So it can be a high reaction or a low reaction. And as for key 67, we uh, also, uh, we have also uh, seen some high and uh, uh, moderate expression, uh, like more than 50%. Uh, and uh, as for protein HER2, according to recommendations, it is assessed at the threshold uh, as the presence of 10% uh, of um, the colored tumor cells uh, with the full or, um, uh, par or, or part of uh, the membrane coloring. And uh, we had that in 32% of uh, the cases. We also had a moderate expression in some of them, like two points. And uh, then uh, it requires uh, to be confirmed by the FISH analysis. So as for the assessment of the exudative uh, fluids, so what uh, problems do we face when we assess the exudative uh, fluids? The different types of uh, compositions of cells and also the inflammation of mesotelius. And uh, it is very difficult for us to uh, evaluate the state of the tumor and uh, as for um, uh, stomach cancer uh, it is especially uh, relevant uh, in the majority of um, cases we face such problems and also degenerative um, changes and uh, the tumors in the cells which impedes uh, the analysis of uh, the tumors and uh, we uh, risked to uh, introduce the marker of uh, the cell density and we uh, used uh, the membrane gene that helped us uh, to uh, see and to de um, define the density of uh, the cell in such a 
a situation when the microslide uh, is represented by such a pool of uh, a tumor slide and polymorphism is clear there and it is uh, very uh, easy for us in such a situation to differentiate these cells from other ones so in real work it looks like this uh, this is a multi-cell picture with the uh, different uh, types of it and in some cases we have specific cells of the tumor but it is very difficult uh, to define the exact number of it and um, on the right uh, we have the BRP4 that is the marker of uh, the cell density which shows you uh, the exact number of uh, cells in the tumor we will would like to uh, say a few words about uh, the technology, cell block technology. It is not widely used in Russia, though uh, abroad this technology is actively used in different methods and methodology. In our work we decided to apply this uh, technology of uh, the significant number of exudative fluids. It is a very um, cheap technology and uh, Gelatin is um, used as a basis for our uh, research for the residue and after it is uh, frozen and then def uh, defrozen, uh, we receive a piece with uh, all the cells with exudative fluids and then it is put into the formalin and after that uh, such material uh, can be used for ICC and for IHC that is the example of how cell block looks like on the left hand side uh, you see um, a usual uh, microslide uh, cytospin and on the right hand side the cell block that is um, uh, the um, uh, example of reactions in ICC and IHC, that is the comparative analysis uh, we have conducted, uh, the cytospin uh, system was used for this uh, purpose and we conducted the reactions and these are the results we have uh, received on this picture. Uh, you can see that on the material of cell block uh, we have uh, the concentration and prophylative activity. It is just higher but um, they are just um, uh, located in a denser way and uh, the results are quite similar and that is how we evaluate evaluated HER2, we can say that for us uh, it was a very uh, nice surprise for us uh, to see all the block and it was a very good opportunity to see how a uh, uh, histologist looks, uh, works like and uh, uh, this is a real opportunity to work with the material that uh, a histologist evaluates from his point of view. We can analyze that, it's a remarkable, a great technology and we draw a conclusion that uh, the block is more preferential for the research, for histological uh, research, for IHC because the reaction are more uh, exact and more appropriate as for coloring as well and in conclusion I'd like to say that uh, we can draw some preliminary conclusions and I'd like to say that uh, the cell block is a very promising technology it should be used especially when you have the high density of the cells and the exudative fluids and uh, I'd also like to mention uh, that certainly in any case, if we get uh, the necessary number of uh, tumor cells from exudative um, fluids or from other sources, uh, it is possible uh, to um, apply IHC or ICC, but if we deal with the low density of uh, the cells in the microslide, then we should uh, primarily think about the marker for cell density. That will help us to differentiate uh, different types of uh, um, research and how it should be used. That is especially relevant for exudative fluids, and I'd like also 
uh, to say that that is only the beginning of our way and we will be actively working on uh, comparing uh, different types of uh, uh, reactions and also the medical and uh, genetic research and we uh, plan to expand the list of uh, predictive and prognostic factors and thank you for your attention thank you uh, please uh, try be very quick with your questions because we are out of time low cell density uh, you say uh, EICC research you propose it and what about the volume of the liquid under the research and the cytological research and for the preparation of the cell unit if I'm correct to understand your question I'd like to say the following thing the methodology of preparation of a cytological um, substances is standardized we collect the residue after uh, the uh, exudative uh, liquid was uh, centrifuged uh, for 10 minutes and this residue is used for morphological evaluation if we have uh, some problems with the cell uh, content and then we use a BRP4 marker to find out the concentration of the uh, uh, cancerous cells because it re reacts with uh, adenocarcinoma cells if we there is enough tumor cells in the microslide then we can use it for further research that's all right as much liquid as it was brought the uh, lab employee mixes up uh, and there will be no more cells in the residue than it is the density of the cells uh, it is the relation of the tumor cell to the total number of cells I hope that you got my idea thank you in this part I would like to ask you represent uh, the work and come to the uh, cell unit when it is dehydrated is fixed with the paraffin and then this is the end of uh, cytology and who conducts uh, the preparation of the uh, cell unit who evaluates it who writes down the conclusion and who puts down the general conclusion on cytology and histology in our case histological part was uh, assisted by Asir Galimovna Kudai Berdenova and unless uh, there is a difference between cytologists and histologists uh, the cell unit is dealt with is worked on by the histologists uh, both cytologists must work on it too because their results are uh, there is agreement of results and for cytologists it is a good uh, further development it is uh, more the movement to the pathology yes this is the case the cytologists must work with the pathologists the, this is a productive cooperation with productive diagnostics so we uh, have been working in such a way since 10 years and uh, that's uh, fine to hear that uh, people in Russia come here come to this point the person who works with uh, IHC, IHC, the microslides you presented as microdiagnostics. I would like to say that they are not sufficient. 
and uh, writing down the conclusion basing on them and uh, sending the decision to the clinics on uh, tactics of uh, treatment. And uh, that is why I can share our experience. We represented it in Yokohama, Japan, uh, at the Congress on Liquid Cytology and on IHH, IHC researches. In case we can make a IHC uh, research, we refuse from ICC. Uh, this was the initiative uh, of the um, one of the members of our group. It is a risk, of course.